The Space Shuttle Approach and Landing Test Program began in February 1977. The Orbiter Spacecraft Enterprise was mated atop a 747 shuttle carrier aircraft in a piggyback position. And after a series of taxi tests, captive flights with the orbiter unmanned and systems inoperable verified the in-flight capability of the mated craft. In subsequent captive flights with the astronaut crew aboard, flight control systems were operated under various conditions at low and high speeds, and pre-flight missions were simulated. This mated configuration will be used to ferry orbiters to test and launch sites. The captive flight tests confirmed a short runway landing capability. More than 70,000 people witnessed the first of five orbiter pre-flights that demonstrated the aerodynamic flight capability and landing characteristics of the spacecraft. The first tests were conducted with an aerodynamic tail cone covering the three main rocket engines of the orbiter. The tail cone reduced drag and buffeting during captive flight and drag during free flight. NASA test pilots and astronauts monitor the flights from two seat chase aircraft. Three free flights of the orbiter with the tail cone on were completely successful, clearing the way to the final flight tests with the tail cone on.
When operational, the space shuttle will carry up to 65,000 pounds into space, including satellites which it can place into a precise orbit, and space laboratories in which non-astronaut scientists and technicians can conduct experiments and tests in the unique space environment. Shuttle will also be the means by which we can eventually place large structures in Earth orbit, the key to space industrialization and the harnessing of solar power for large-scale use on Earth. At the end of a mission, the orbiter can carry satellites or other cargo back to Earth for service or repair. It will be ready for another launch two weeks later.